Facing Waves is brought to you in part by Eddie Line Kayaks, legendary designs since 1971. With beautiful summer weather and hundreds of islands to explore, the San Juan Islands are a sea kayaker's dream destination. And so we hooked up with Crystal Seas Kayaking for a tour of the area. San Juans are a great place if you like to do outdoor sports, especially uh, anything involving the water. There's over 172 islands in the entire archipelago, and a variety of those are all state parks. So it's a great place if you like to camp and kayak. You know, a guided tour is a great way to start. There's a variety of companies that offer guided kayak tours here in the San Juans, and they'd be happy to show you around, um, give you a tour of the area and some of the local flora and fauna. So you guys were paddling in a body of water called the Harrow Strait, H-A-R-O, and it's the boundary between the U.S. and Canada, and it uh, stretches about eight miles or so wide, and it's over a thousand feet deep in many places, which is like one of the reasons why this is such a rich body of water, because all those nutrients from the, body, from the bottom get sucked up and brought up to the top and uh, feed everything that we're looking at right now. There's a series of campgrounds called the Marine Water Trail, which are kayak camping only. And there's big state parks on a lot of these islands. Stewart in uh, particular has a large state park where we can camp at. Um, some of the other islands we camp at include uh, Jones Island, Turn Island, uh, Susha, Mesha, Patos. Those are all uh, state parks. So we get to really take advantage of uh, some of the most beautiful locations in the San Juans that you can only uh, access by kayak. So yesterday on the water, the instructors from Crystal Seas Kayaks really got us excited to see more. They described all the uh, wildlife on the islands and also a lot of the different things that they've been seeing on their tours, both day tours and multi-days. And several of the instructors said that Susha Island was their favorite place to go. And so we're pretty excited to get out there and uh, see what the experts regard as one of their favorite spots. We're told there's some great mushroom rocks and other neat formations that are on the west side of the island here. We're going to paddle around and see if we can find some of them. Well, there's that cool sandstone we heard every, all about up here. Apparently the salt water has a reaction with the sandstone and carves it away. That with the tide and weather and waves really creates a little bit of uh, natural art sculptures for us. Really cool. These formations are a lot harder than they looked when we were uh, out on the water. They look like they were just soft sand, but now that you touch them, they uh, feel like almost cement. Water just carved a hole right through there. You really have a natural amusement park. We have hiking trails, eagles flying overhead, all sorts of sea creatures. It's literally as if you were at an amusement park and around each corner there's a new ride or a new thrill. 